Berkey, you're not gonna believe this. Guess what my friend Jared just dropped off at my shop? <laughs> no, not that. No. No, he dropped off a blacksmith sign that they found in this shop that they've been going through and finding all this stuff. This sign is from 1932, or actually it was made before then because it was taken down in 1932. So who knows how old it is? Anyways, he wants me to restore this sign and I've got these awesome ideas of what I'm gonna do to this sign. I'm going to take a router to it. I'm going to do an epoxy river blacksmith sign. I'm probably going to use some pallet wood in there. And I'm also definitely going to be adding some neon lights to it. Really deck it out. I'll probably sand down the lettering and really spice this thing up. What do you think? Hey, whatever you do, do as little as possible to that sign. Don't touch it. Don't. One of the projects that I've been wanting to get to in the last couple of months has been a sign that one of my friends uh, has given to me to work on for a project for himself. Now the story behind this project is a year ago, some of his friends purchased this building over in Morton and it was an old blacksmith and horseshoe shop that uh, had been up since the 1800s. Uh, the doors had been locked since I believe the 60s or the 70s, a really long time and nobody had been in there since. His friends bought the building, they wanted to turn it into a bar and so he purchased all the contents inside of the building and then turned around and started selling stuff. One of the things that he found was this sign one of the amazing things about this sign is that it was taken down in 1932. Uh, he actually talked to the person who owned it and said that they remember when they purchased this building, which was 1932, they took this type of stuff down. So this sign was taken down at that time. A beautiful sign. Um, so it made me a little nervous to try and think of something to come up with as I kind of thought to myself, and how am I going to preserve it and make it look right? Uh, especially when somebody's putting that trust into my hands. I called my friend Andy Berkey and I said, Hey Andy, if somebody had just asked you to reach a sign from the 1930s or even older, an old blacksmith horseshoe sign, what would your approach be to it? Andy's done a lot of historical preservation on buildings and signs and stuff like that. And so I thought he was the perfect person to ask this question to. I'm going to use some wood, some old traditional two by fours that were found in the building with it. Uh, they've got a lot of rough sawn sawmill marks to them. And I've got a fun little idea that I'm going to try with it. So stick around. Let me know what you think. By adding these masonry cut nails. You can buy these masonry cut nails, just little square inch cut nails for like two bucks at Menards or any box store. Take a walk with me. Man, I think it's starting to look pretty good. I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, I've kind of made a couple decisions on the fly, but really, really happy with uh, the picture frame look. I think it's gonna look really sharp. <laughs> Poplar on top, 
white, off, white oak on bottom, and then I've just got pine on the sides. And you can see how different char the wood took in these different spots that the white oak didn't take it as much as this poplar and pine. But still pretty cool, and I hope that that's coming through on the camera because it looks pretty good. Did I, did I just, no, no, it, I didn't, did I? Special shout out to the actual moron himself, Mr. Andy Berkey, hashtag Blaine Berkey. Uh, Andy, thank you for all your daily inspiration and everything that you helped me out with. I'm very appreciative to have a friend like you that's just a phone call away. And thank you for all your inspiration and help on this particular sign and leading me in the right direction. But also thank you for the daily inspiration that I get. Um, from following you and from having our conversations and just being able to bounce ideas off you not only on signs like this but other projects so thank you again Berkey out